Hello boys and girls, got a special for you today, an El Especial. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Alright, let's take a look. So this is a Torro, the GTS model, Gran Turismo Super. It looks like it's a 5.5 liter. And that's big black territory, man. Stainless steel exhaust guard. Good stuff. What is this? Is this bent? I'll fix it later. Yup, as I thought. Rear wheel drive. I mean, look at these tires. They are smoked. Man, the last owner must have been really on the throttle, you know what I mean? So I guess the, the super stands for super stiff suspension. Check this out. No play at all. Some kind of a front strut bar. It even has an automatic start. Well, key turn. Automatic start, but the battery is shot. Here's the battery for that. Quite a few different attachments. Which I have no idea what they do. So this is the bag, obviously. That's, I guess, the, the mulching option. Come on. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get out of there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use this option. This, I guess, uh, take this, this guy off and uh, install that. And it gives you the smooth finish, probably for better aerodynamics. So there's the actual starter, this little guy here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is just nasty. Ugh. All right, we're gonna leave it like that. And this is an actual aluminum body. Yep, the GTS version. That's for lightweight also. Gotta leave the other lawnmowers behind. So this thing is 30 years old. It's a 1990. I actually got it going on the second pull. It's been sitting for years. It started for me on the second pull, believe it or not. Let's see if, if it's gonna do it again. Choke is actually on the handle. So yeah, I got a fix on that and right after we're going to take care of some other things and right after that we're going to give it a good old wash, try and bring out this Ferrari red. So now I should probably flip it over, turn it on its side and see uh, what's, what's going on. Alright, now since I got it on its side, now I don't know much about lawnmowers but if the blade doesn't turn when it's running now yeah there's a problem for God's sake don't put your hands in there when the engine is running okay so besides this looks like there's also an issue with this wheel over here it actually was lifted off of the ground looks like there's just too much play 
looks like there's something missing or it's just loose but later on that so yeah like I was saying before one would think if the blade doesn't turn you want to start from the bottom so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna take these two bolts or nuts off Let's see what's behind door number one. We can sharpen this later. Take this. Is this plastic? Yeah, it's plastic. I'll take that off. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, we got a short V belt. We got a bearing in here. That bearing feels okay. This is the brake, so this uh, slows down the um, the blade here. Oh, this actually came off. Yeah, this bearing is okay. Okay, there's a pulley right behind this plate here. Is there a nut? Be okay, yeah, there is a nut behind this uh, bolt here. This is a half, by the way. Yep. You go there's a little nut keep these together we can slide the pulley off okay wow okay well it still works it's making a little noise very little play well maybe more than a little but this is not the issue i don't think so at least Let's take this guard off. Okay, so the keyway is still good. So this is the actual crankshaft. I'm gonna put this back. So this uh I'm guessing right now, remember I don't know much about Rollmower, so I'm guessing this propels the, the transmission. I'm going to pull on the gear lever here, this should move the belt. No, that ain't it. I might be an, an idiot. So I've noticed this here, this moves, this is the brake, the actual uh, brake release cable here. I've noticed that it didn't move for me when I was pressing this, right? So this is this is what turns on the, the drive. So how does this work? I was thinking maybe there's a handle missing for the blade or something. So then I did this. You see this move? Yeah. So now the brake is on. Now it's off. And at the same time, the, dry, the wheels are on as well. So one handle does two things. Now if you let go, you stop driving and the blade stop turning or puts on the brake. Maybe I should stick with cars. Anyways, let's put it back together and and see if it works.
like new. Okay, it's back together. You know, I, I kind of want it to work, but I also don't. You may know the reason. All right, let's try it out. Why is my hand so red? Yeah, so uh, just so you know, this was a. I was just trying, you know, just checking things out. Okay, this was kind of part of maintenance. I, w I was inspecting it. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was inspecting it. So now I'm gonna just tighten up that bolt on the loose wheel right here and wash it. Thirty years old, guys. Thirty years old. It's when they still made them good. Some paint came off. I'm probably gonna do the uh, the filter, the air filter, the spark plug, and change the oil. That loose wheel that was just a uh, just just a kind of a loose nut. It's all good now. I did tighten up some of these nuts and bolts on the handle. It is a bit stiffer now. It is kind of low still. So that is it boys and girls, next time you see a repair video on a lawnmower from me, just, just skip it, don't, don't bother. And as always, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you soon.